In terms of uh, the uh, both the end use and the uh, and the destination for all these chips that are being manufactured, how how would how, how would you split that up uh, geographically today? Well, the demand side is a, li- a lot more evenly split, right? Uh, today, China is the, still the largest market as a whole, mm-hmm. and they control about a fourth of all the demand for semiconductors. It used to be closer to to thirty percent, but because a lot of the growth is now coming from from AI. Um, the, uh, we've seen some, some, um, a little bit of a, a down numbers for for China, but over time, China will continue to lead the industry as being the largest semiconductor industry. Second would be uh, North America. So in in the Americas, um, of course, PC demand has been pretty healthy, smartphone demand, but the build out of AI infrastructure is what we're seeing today in North America, and it's been basically a land grab. You know, companies like OpenAI and, and Tropic and others are working very closely with, with the semiconductor companies to build out the hardware that over time is going to drive a lot of the services and, and drive the training and infancy that we want to see across enterprises. Um, if you look at other sectors like Japan and Southeast Asia and Europe, these industries are also heavily driven by automotive industrial areas and, and also mm-hmm. consumer electronics.